to peek into the locker room. Players soaking in the last few moments before the game. Some final preparations here. Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Allie LaForce. Now let's check out the starters for Brooklyn. Schroeder and Thomas make up the backcourt. Nicholas Claxton out there with Dorian Finney-Smith, and it's Bogdanovich in at small forward. And for the Jazz, George and Sexton in the backcourt. Then there's John Collins, then it's Laurie Markkinen, and it's Hendricks in at the four slot. Grant, one thing these teams have in common, they are great at rebounding the basketball. Oh, yes, they are. I mean, it'll be a battle down low. Boxing out is vital, and second chance points may just decide this game. On offense, here's Utah. On the wing, Sexton. Thomas defends. Sexton passes to Markkinen. Three-pointer, no good. And Schroeder has got the ball here for the Nets. Pass to Finney Smith from behind the arc. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. Now Dorian Finney Smith increasingly efficient offensively. Good feel for when to rise and fire. Collins a screen for three. George. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Outside Schroeder. On the wing, Finney Smith for three. Rebounded by the Jazz. On the wing, Sexton. Here's the three. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Brooklyn has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Claxton. And here's Schroeder outside. Counted from distance. Well, you have to at least honor the long ball from Dennis Schroeder. He is more than capable from that distance. Markkinen with a screen on Schroeder. Down low. And Markkinen with the stuff. Well, as soon as you recognize the size mismatch, you have to attack. The Nets have gone two of three from the floor. And Claxton throws it down. Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull that off. George with it. Pass to Collins. Here's Hendricks. Six on the shot clock. From outside the arc. And it's Colin Sexton with the three. I mean, Sexton can shoot from anywhere. Strong from beyond the arc. Outside, Finney Smith. Now here's Thomas. Launches it. Outside, Bogdanovich. Drills it from deep. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Inside, here's Markkinen. And Markkinen with the stuff. I love it when Markkinen decides to throw it down. Show some fire on that finish. Doris, someone who plays within himself. Nick Claxton knows what his team wants from him. There's real value in a player understanding his role, and that's Nick Claxton. Sprint the floor, rebound, rim protect. He knows who he is and what puts him on the floor. Pass to George. Now here's Markkinen. Thomas defends with the fadeaway. And Markkinen gets it to go on the assist by George. Markkinen's got six. Boy, Markkinen looking really confident in the mid-range. We're not accustomed to seeing him want the three-point shot, but take what the defense gives you. And Jordy Fernandez calls timeout, and we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust. Bogdanovich passes to Finney Smith. Now Thomas. Pass to Claxton. 
laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now here's George. Yet to see a basket. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. The shot, no good. Outside Finney Smith. Outside Bogdanovich. Misses the three. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. George, right side. Pass to Marketed. Carries it down low. Give him eight. Boy, he's got so much length that under duress, still able to finish. Go ahead, Lowry Marketing. It's Thomas on the wing. Over Sexton. They get it back. Goes back up. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And the foul goes against Utah. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Nets. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. And he drops a first. Well, you look at Cam Thomas, Grant. Do you think he has the potential to be a star in this league? Well, you know, it's tough to say, B.A. He has a lot of talent, especially as a scorer. I think he has to keep evolving other parts of his game if he wants to become a full-fledged star. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, if you don't overthink it, what Cam Thomas does on offense is very impressive at his age, Doris. I think, B.A., what you love about Cam Thomas is he is fearless. He doesn't concern himself with efficiency. His mindset is, I'm going to score, and if I've missed the last 10, it doesn't matter. This next one's going in. Now here's Schroeder. Outside, Finney Smith. Back to Schroeder. Stolen by Collins. Sexton looking around. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Nets with the lead. Thomas outside. And he's now one for four after that one. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Pass to Marketin. Yes, it's good. marketing has got ten. Uh, get the ball and go to work. Markin and using his size to great effect inside. Time out, time and the out. timeout called here by Jordy Fernandez. He wants to review the game plan. Grant, a big reason for Utah to be excited about the future. Their young head coach, Will Hardy. Yeah, B.A. I mean, he's had this team competitive after trading away both Mitchell and Gobert. And I love how Hardy has developed guys like Lori Markinen. And so it's Brooklyn with it. Pass to Finney Smith. Claxton with it. Collins defending. Back to Bogdanovich. Shot clock at six. Here's Thomas. Hits the front of the rim and out. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Mark it in. The pass to George. And George with the jam. Yes, sir. George with the flush. George against Schroeder. And it's Bogdanovich that time on the assist from Schroeder. Bogdanovich has got his second basket of the night. George passes to Markkinen. Schroeder against George. Pass to Hendricks. Fires the three. Schroeder with a rebound. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Outside Bogdanovich. Off target from three-point range. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. 
Outside Schroeder. It's Thomas on the wing. Over Sexton. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Well, the Nets are still feeling the ramifications of trading for James Hardendorf. Well, B.A. consider in that trade, they gave away Jared Allen, Karis LeVert, and four, count them, four first-round picks for a total of just 80 games played for James Harden. The reverberations are still being felt. Free throw good. Thomas. Well, the Jazz are one of just 10 NBA franchises to never win a championship, Grant. Yeah, you know, it's so hard to believe considering they have the fourth best winning percentage in NBA history. Think about it. If it weren't for one Michael Jordan, they'd probably have two rings. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. George passes to Collins. Sexton with it. And he drops it in from the low post. Sexton's got eight. How about the soft touch on the floater from Collins Sexton? You must have that in your arsenal. Now here's Schroeder. Outside Bogdanovich. Let's go with a three. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. Schroeder's got four assists now tonight. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can really see his feel for the game. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Oh, a nice shot by Collins. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Schroeder. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. George against Bogdanovich. Pass to Markkinen. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Well, you can see how impactful Lowry Markkinen can be with that size and skill offensively. He is too good. Outside Schroeder. Screen by Claxton. Schroeder passes to Bogdanovich. And here's Thomas from the arc. Collins with the rebound. Utah leading. Oh, what a performance offensively. <laughs> They're really rolling at that end. Excellent game plan. George finds Markkinen. Brooklyn pulls it in. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Now here's Bogdanovich. Give him eight points now. Sexton against Thomas. Claxton a screen on Sexton. Here's Thomas for three. They get it back. Claxton. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Well, just it's easy to say. This guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. The Jazz are making progress. Coach Will Hardy said this team has shown grit and character and has developed a lot of confidence. When we're going through game preparations, the players walk away knowing if they do certain things, they can win. That's a big step in Take the right break. direction. Take a, break. a bright future, Allie. Thank you. And the first one at the line is good. Well, when you talk about the most underrated players in the league, Doris, Sexton has to be in the conversation. Well, let's begin with the fact that he's an absolutely fearless scorer, a tough competitor, an improved facilitator. There's grit, determination. He's willing to get into you defensively. He is somebody that will compete on the defensive end. You know, Grant, with the Nets, there was so much optimism just a few years back. And it was just too bad to see things go south. It's a reminder that nothing is as easy as it seems in the NBA. 
even with a superstar roster, things don't always work out. Well, how about the two-way game of Colin Sexton comes up with the steal and then scores it on the other end. Nicely done, young man. Here's Schroeder. And Collins with the big block. Thomas with a steal. Schroeder passes to Thomas. That went off the back iron and out. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Now here's Markkinen. 12 points for him. Back to George. And George with the jam. He sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here, hanging up there like that. Here's Schroeder. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Keontae George. Well, when Dennis Schroeder is in attack mode, he is skilled enough to get the defense to overcommit. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Utah. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. The other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight is the shooting they've displayed from beyond the three-point arc. Free throw good. Schroeder. Doris, when we talk about home court advantages, the Jazz have amongst the best. They do, B.A. You have to play at altitude. They're also a little bit isolated as well, so travel is hard. But let me tell you this. Their fan base is loud. L-O-U-D. And both free throws good for Schroeder. Doris, it's interesting, but the Nets franchise has never won an NBA championship. That's absolutely correct, because their titles came before the merger. Now, since they've joined this league, they did go to the finals for a couple of times. Had Jason Kidd, who was the driver of success, but no championship in this modern era. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. A minute six left in the first quarter. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Claxton. And here's Thomas. Claxton, a screen on Sexton. Here's Thomas. The offensive rebound. And Claxton throws it down. Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. Marking it outside. Back to George. Here's Hendricks. To the paint. Here's Sexton. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Thomas outside. Shoots from the right block. That one falls. Thomas has got eight points. These teams just feeling each other out. Yeah, I love the spirit out there. Already six lead exchanges. Pass to Hendricks. Marking it inside. Nails the baby hook. He's got 14. There's just no reason to give him inside position. Coaches call that doing your work early. If you there defensively it really does not allow for him to establish that kind of excellent positioning down low and so it's Laurie Markkinen making things happen for Utah absolutely carrying the offense he ends the quarter with 14 more 2k action in just a moment And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And from what we've seen from the Jazz, what's your take so far? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. And so in the game for the Nets, Johnson and Claxton patrol the middle. Schroeder and Thomas make up the backcourt. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three. Now here's Bogdanovich. Now Schroeder. 
to the inside. Shot clock at five. And Claxton throws it down. Wow, eight lead changes in the first half. Unbelievable. Yeah, both sides digging in for what looks like a war. Outside Sexton. Using his post moves to get the two points. Another lead change. Give these teams credit. They're really fighting it out. Neither team willing to give an inch and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Now here's Claxton. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Drains the triple. Bogdanovich has got 11 points. Well, Boyan Bogdanovich, a very confident basketball player. He knows very well he has the green light to take these shots. Sexton against Thomas. Fires from the wing. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Thomas from downtown. And again, it's Brooklyn from deep. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open guy? Marking it outside. Kessler, a screen on Bogdanovich. Shoots from 14. Marking and misses. Nets leading by five. Schroeder finds Thomas. Sexton comes with a double team. Johnson for three. It's rebounded by Hendricks. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Marketing the pass to Kessler. Here's Hendricks. The three. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. It's Thomas on the wing. Checked by Sexton. And he gets it to go. Thomas has got five points now in the quarter. Jazz trail by four. And here's George. Pass to Markkinen. There's the double with Bogdanovich. Now here's George. Kessler a screen. Three-pointer. Utah the rebound. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling to give up on the play. And the timeout time called here by Jordy Fernandez. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. Very tight-knit teams. Talk to us about chemistry. Well, B.A., you know, in some sports, chemistry is not a big issue. But in basketball, it is huge. You have to trust and believe in your teammates. And it has to be a unit, not five separate individuals. And so it's Sexton who brings up the ball for the Jazz. Pass to Hendricks. Schroeder against George. Shoots over Schroeder. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. George has gotten his third basket of the night. Outside Johnson. Back to Schroeder. Thomas with the ball. Fires for three. That one falls. Coming off Schroeder's feed. Schroeder's got six assists now in the game. Well, coaches love seeing this from Dennis Schroeder. Recognize the situation, find the open teammate. Here's Hendricks. Right side, Sexton. The three is up. Rebounded by the Nets. Claxton's got nine rebounds now. Pass to Bogdanovich. And again, it's Brooklyn from deep. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Stolen by Schroeder. Fast break, Brooklyn. 
George with the block. And he recovers it. The kick out to Johnson. Back to Schroeder. Now here's Thomas, guarded closely. To the middle. Knocked loose. Stolen by Schroeder. Drives to the hoop. To the paint. Bogdanovich. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Bogdanovich feeling it right now. But when he's in that zone, you just keep getting him the rock. Outside Sexton. Kessler, a screen on Thomas. Here's Sexton. Off the left rim and out. Nets leading by eight. Pass to Johnson. Claxton against Kessler. Back to Johnson. Just five to shoot. Thomas, that's good. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes time energy, time it takes activity, it takes intensity. And so, Will Hardy calls for the timeout. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. Sexton passes to Kessler. Inside. Stolen by Schroeder. Fast break. Brooklyn. And Claxton gets the bucket. And now a 12-point Nets lead. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading. Always trying to create for others. Sexton against Thomas. Pass to Markkinen. Five on the clock. Kessler finds Sexton over Thomas. And another miss by Utah. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. John Collins checked in for Utah. Number 20, John Collins. Pass to Schroeder. And here's Thomas. Checked by Sexton. Thomas passes to Claxton. Goes back up. Utah grabs the miss. Collins has got four rebounds in the game. And we've got a timeout called by Will Hardy. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players.
Kessler. He's checked in for Hendricks. Jazz trail by 12. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Nick Claxton, despite his relatively slender frame, is a hard-nosed defender. He said, I bow down to no one. Every time I step on the court, I always have that chip on my shoulder. That's just the fiery competitor that I am. At the end of the day, I know what I'll hang my hat on, the defensive side of the ball. Brian? Okay, Ali, thanks for that. All right, Grant, when you look at the Nets rebuild, what are you seeing at this point? Well, they gave up a lot of young players and draft picks to assemble a big three. And, of course, that didn't quite work out. So now they're in that middle ground, which sometimes can be a little tough. Add to the fact that they're in New York, the fans and media are anything but patient and forgiving. Now here's George. Nine points in the game. Count that one. And just muscling it in. George, very aggressive. Nets leading by 10. Here's Schroeder. Outside Bogdanovich. Claxton a screen on Markkinen to the inside. And Claxton throws it down. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. George passes to Collins. George feels it out a bit. Pass to Markkinen. Oh, tough basket from Markkinen. Once he saw the smaller defender guarding him, he took it right to the rack. Outside Schroeder. Outside Bogdanovich. And the three off target. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. It's good. Sexton's got four points this quarter. You love this. The pressure gets physical, and Colin Sexton doesn't blink. Nice job finishing through contact. Thomas misses. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jazz. Marking it outside. Pass to Kessler. Kicks it to George. Down to five on the shot clock. He drops it from range. Now just a five-point Brooklyn lead. And there's a nice rhythm to his three-point shot. You know, George has a confident stroke. Thomas outside. Claxton a screen on Sexton. Thomas passes to Claxton. And Claxton throws it down. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Pass to Kessler. Now Sexton. Off target with the three. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. And here's Schroeder. Here's Bogdanovich. Claxton a screen on Collins. Clock at six. Bogdanovich, no good. Jazz trail by seven. Pass to Sexton. The three is up. They get it again. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Utah shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. One shot. And the free throw, no good. Nets leading by five. Here's Bogdanovich. Oh, that's his eighth make of the game. He's only missed four so far. Well, I'll tell you, the defense can't stop that. Bogdanovich with the ridiculous delivery. Collins outside. Pass to Markkinen. Now here's Kessler. He's guarded by Claxton. Just five on the clock. 
Collins passes to George. Shoots over Schroeder. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Down low. Nice shot by Finney Smith. And it's a nine-point Nets lead. That's what you call using your body. Playing a little bully basketball is Dorian Finney Smith. Marking it outside. George draws the double. Back to Markinen. Pass to Collins. The three from Sexton. Rebound Brooklyn. I like the aggressive approach. He's going to have to be more efficient. And here's Schroeder outside. Knocks down the triple. Schroeder's got eight points. Well, it's no secret that Dennis Schroeder has tons of confidence. You can see it on that pull-up jumper right there. And here's Collins for three. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. And talk about payback. He hits the revenge triple. Oh, you love to see the competitive fire. A little bit of pride at stake. Six seconds separating the shot and game clock. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Kessler with a rebound. Kessler's got his fifth rebound in this one. Tries the spin move. Markkinen, the pass to Collins. Back to Markkinen. Now here's George. Shot comes out. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. just tuning in thanks for being with us second half of this game still to play I'll tell you one guy who's been getting it done is Boyan Bogdanovich yeah, I love how effortlessly he scored the game just comes so easy for him and let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way he certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that Sexton and Markkinen out on the wings Collins and Kessler there in the middle and it's George in at the point guard position that's the group for Utah right now Jazz trail by 11. Pass to Kessler. To the paint. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Markkinen. Nice touch inside there from Markkinen. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. And here's Thomas. Claxton a screen on Sexton. Thomas passes to Claxton. Good D by Kessler. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Here's Sexton. And the Jazz tack on two more. Well, speed is such an important weapon for Colin Sexton. He gets to the mid-range game. Nice. Outside Bogdanovich. To the middle. Here's Thomas. Collins with the rebound. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Sexton against Schroeder. Sexton, that's good. Sexton's got 20 points. And guys, for Collins Sexton, it's really about taking smart shots because when he does, you can see he's got the ability to catch fire. 
And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Lori Markkinen. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Pass to Thomas. To the inside. Six on the shot clock. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. Brooklyn shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. One shot. So George will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. Collins, left side. Pass to Sexton. Kessler, a screen on Thomas. The three from Sexton. Sexton, another miss. Nets leading by eight. Here we go. Schroeder passes to Bogdanovich. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. Bogdanovich has got 25 points. For Utah, they've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Marketing outside. Takes the three. Oh, the soft touch from Markkinen, the seven-footer. Well, you can see this team depends on Markkinen to space the floor, delivers timeout, with timeout. the range three there. And the timeout called here by Jordy Fernandez. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. against Bogdanovich. Rebounded by the Jazz. Well, Doris, the seven-footer from Finland, Lowry Markkinen. What makes him so tough to stop? Well, the size you mentioned, seven-foot. The sweet shooting that he provides has got tremendous range and accuracy from three-point territory. Can put it on the deck, is willing to mix it up on the glass. There's a lot to like. Sure, from three-point range. Thomas has got 21 points in the game. Well, that's just a good possession. Dorian Finney-Smith moving the ball. He's been working on that aspect of his game. Kessler passes to Markkinen. Another three for Utah. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. And stolen by Sexton. Let's go with a three. Claxton with a rebound. 
Paxton's got his 16th rebound on the night. Pass to Thomas. Out of bounds. It'll be Jazz ball. Jazz trail by five. George passes to Kessler. Now Markkinen, defended by Bogdanovich. Markkinen misses. The Nets have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Out to the wing, from the corner. Schroeder can't get it to go. The Jazz have gone six for nine in the half. Kessler, a screen on Schroeder. George with it. He's picked up by Schroeder. Mark it in for three. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. George has got seven assists in the game. Well, nice job to capitalize right there in an instance where all you got to do is catch and shoot. And there's the foul. It's on Colin Sexton. That's his third foul so far. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Claxton passes to Schroeder. 11 feet out. Thomas misses. And so Markkinen will bring it up for Utah. George outside. Kessler against Bogdanovich. Kessler passes to Sexton. Another three for Utah. Well, this is what you call finding angles to come off in the catch-and-shoot situation. Nice job by Colin Sexton. Here's Claxton. No good. Had a chance to win the run there. Utah's gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Schroeder against George. And Claxton comes to help. What growth from Lowry Market and Doris, the 2023 Most Improved Player Award winner. Yeah, you think about it. Market and entered the league at just 20 years of age. You forget how young these guys are sometimes. But Market and finds a great situation where he's a featured part of an offense, and then he makes an all-star team. He makes a first. And guys, Markkinen, there's no question about his offensive talent. His skill set is the perfect match for the way the game is played today. And the Nets making a change here. Johnson's checked in. And he makes the first but misses the second. Brooklyn trailing. Thomas outside. Pass to Bogdanovich. Thomas outside. Fox to the screen on Sexton. Thomas. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Thomas has got five points now this quarter. The Jazz on offense. They're on a 15 to 5 run. Market it outside. Collins outside. Nails it from three. Collins has got 11 points. And this is a part of Collins' game that's really evolved. Hitting jumpers and catch and shoot. Here's Thomas for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Kessler. Pass to Sexton. Here's Markkinen, beyond the arc. Good D by Bogdanovich. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. No good there. Some solid defense from Markkinen. Collins with it. Outside. Shot clock at five. Collins with a screen on Schroeder. George for three. Rebounded by Johnson. 
Brooklyn has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Bogdanovich down low. George defending. Bogdanovich no good. And he's going for the oop here. It's stolen by Johnson. It's Thomas on the wing. Checked by Sexton. Thomas passes to Bogdanovich. Claxton a screen on Sexton. Here's Thomas. That's tipped. Outside Schroeder. A chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Schroeder's gotten three of his nine shots to fall so far. Sexton against Thomas. Here's Markkinen. Knocks it down from seven feet. Markkinen's got 14 points now in the second half. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. Claxton a screen on Sexton. Here's Thomas. And he can't bank that one in. Utah leading. Markin in left side. Collins passes to Kessler. Collins a screen. Shot clock at six. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Here's George. Oh, nice D from Schroeder. Brooklyn shooting the ball at 48% so far. Outside Johnson. Thomas outside. Over Markkinen. Thomas misses. And here's Markkinen. He'll bring it up for Utah. Two-point game. Pass to Kessler. Markkinen outside. Now here's Sexton. Now Collins. Here's Kessler. Thomas defends. The jump hook. Outside for Sexton. Collins passes to Sexton. George with it. The three is up. Claxton with a rebound. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Johnson. Thomas outside. Back to Johnson. Outside Bogdanovich. Buries it from three. Bogdanovich has got 28 points for the game. Boy, Bogdanovich with the distance delivery. How about that effortless shooting motion? George outside. Driving in. Collins outside. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. George against Schroeder. Pass to Johnson. Back to Schroeder. Thomas outside. Five left to play in the third quarter. No good from the wing. Now here's Collins. George outside. Collins with a screen on Thomas. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Collins Sexton early in his career has demonstrated great instincts in the pick and roll. Good decision making. Johnson on the wing. Collins defending. Hits the trifecta. Thomas has got 11 points in the quarter. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Sexton passes to Markkinen. Oh, look at the flush from Markkinen. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. From 11 feet away, good. He hits the jumper. Thomas has got 31. Cam Thomas getting it done for the Nets. What a game from deep.
making five trades. We'll be right back. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the court for the Nets as we get the fourth quarter going. Schroeder and Thomas make up the backcourt. Johnson is out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's Simmons in at the five, roaming the paint. Thomas with a steal. Simmons with it. Guarded now by George. Simmons against George. And that one's good. Simmons. And the Nets lead by four. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Nets? Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Brooklyn with the ball. Following the bucket by Utah. Johnson finds Schroeder. Five to shoot. There's the drive. And it's blocked by Kessler. Here's Sexton. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. You know, Grant, looking at the career of Colin Sexton, he had a huge third season. Average 24 a game. Yeah, B.A. And unfortunately, Colin hurt his knee early during his fourth year. Had season-ending surgery, but we've seen Sexton make a full comeback and just a dynamic scoring guard. First one falls for him. All right, both free throws good from Sexton. Well, the Nets shooting at 49% so far in the game. Outside Simmons. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. That's a big time finish by Ben Simmons. With that frame, sometimes he makes that look easy. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Inside, here's Kessler. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Love his attacking mindset. What a move at a huge point in this game. That is not settling. That is going for a high percentage look at a critical time. Nicely done. Now here's Schroeder. To the inside, here's Thomas. This is the baby hook. And so Sexton will bring it up for Utah to take the lead. And the Jazz tack on two more. That unpredictability helps Colin Sexton. He keeps defenders off balance. You don't know what this guy's going to do. Sexton against Thomas. Over Sexton. And again, it's Brooklyn. And this is just typical of him always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance, he knows it's winning time. You see his active hands knocking that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Kessler, a screen on Schroeder. And he lobs it up to the rim. And 
finished off by Kessler. <laughs> Beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Outside Johnson. Thomas against Sexton. Simmons with a screen on Sexton. Thomas passes to Simmons. And it's blocked by Kessler. Outside Sexton. Well, you love the fearless nature of Colin Sexton. Forces the issue, gets himself to the free throw line. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Jazz. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. The other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. He hits the second from the line. Nets trail by three. Outside Johnson. Back to Schroeder. Johnson a screen on George. Here's Schroeder. George with the block. And he's able to get it back. Six to shoot. Another shot. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by George. Here's Thomas over Sexton. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there. Couldn't get it to go. The floater. Brooklyn pulls it in. Thomas with the ball. Outside Schroeder. Brooklyn, no good that time either. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. To the paint. Unloads. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Yeah, that's a good look for Collins. I like the offensive approach right there. Sexton against Thomas. Just five to shoot. Utah grabs the miss. Collins has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Sexton, that's good. Well, Sexton showing that he's more than just a jump shooter. Very comfortable on the interior against size. Pass to Simmons. Over Kessler. And the Nets miss again. Boy, a little indecisive. I think he wanted to kick it out, changed his mind, and ended up missing. George passes to Markkinen. Back to George. Outside Sexton. Launches a three. Here's Collins. Kicks it out to Markkinen. Collins with a screen on Thomas. The three from Sexton. Nails it from beyond the arc. Sexton's got ten points now, just in this quarter. Whoa, that man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. Well, credit the offense, though. If you're going to come with casual defensive effort, this team's responsibility is to take advantage, and they do. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. And there's the lob, and it's Simmons with the jam. That's where you get the ball to Ben Simmons, right at the rim. He's got size and athleticism. Look out. George against Schroeder. And stolen by Simmons. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And now it's just a four-point Jazz lead. Man, my goodness, the handle of Ben Simmons, the craftiness to get to his spot. Pass to Markkinen. And here's Collins for three. And it's Thomas with the rebound. Thomas has got four rebounds in the game. Outside Bogdanovich. 
It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Bogdanovich has got 31. Collins outside. Pass to Kessler. George outside. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That one on Schroeder. And there's no question George can fill it up. For him, it's about focusing on shooting good percentages. The first one falls. He's perfect from the line this time. And Schroeder has got the ball here for the Brooklyn Nets. Pass to Simmons. Down low. Here's Thomas. And the layup falls. Thomas has got 35. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Now here's Kessler. Kessler a screen. Sexton passes to Markkinen. Sinks it from distance. Markkinen's got 35. Oh, you can see Markkinen's touch right there. It doesn't matter where he is on the floor. The guy is a three-level scorer. Out of bounds. It'll be Utah's ball. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Jazz leading by four. Now here's George. Markkinen finds Collins. Kessler, a screen on Schroeder. Puts it up. Perfection. Beautiful stroke. Give him 20. Nets trail by six. Simmons, the pass to Johnson. Thomas with the ball. Checked by Sexton. No good on the three. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. And he's going for the lob. And Collins with the slam. Throw it anywhere near Collins. He'll take care of the rest. Putting his athleticism in length to perfect use. Now here's Thomas. Outside Bogdanovich. No good. Unable to win this run. Market it against Bogdanovich. Collins passes to Sexton. And here's Kessler. George outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Outside Sexton. From outside the arc. The rebound by Ben Simmons. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Sexton against Thomas. To the middle. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Thomas. And the bucket is good. Thomas has got six points in the quarter. Utah leading by six. Now George. And here's Markkinen. Defended by Bogdanovich. Markkinen with a screen on Johnson. George outside. From deep three-point land. Rebound Brooklyn. Johnson's got four rebounds in the game. Simmons, the pass to Thomas. The rebound by the Jazz. 146 left in the fourth. George outside. Pass to Markkinen. And stolen by Simmons. Three on three. Now here's Johnson. Collins defending. 
Johnson passes to Thomas, and it's going to be a three-second call. Cass leading by six. And here's George. To the inside. Here's Markkinen. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Cameron Johnson, his first person. Marketing. We've got 108 left in the final quarter. Thomas against Sexton. Thomas, right side. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. You know, that was an excellent play right there. Using his strength to power through contact. And that one misses. Utah's gone two of six so far in the fourth. George with it. Now Bogdanovich defending. Back to Sexton. Kessler down low. Covered by Schroeder. Shot clock at five. Oh, from deep. Brooklyn pulls it in. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. And it's good! Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter, and they go to the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Fifteen foul. So the first one drops, and that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. Stellar work at the charity strike, trying to build out this lead. Brooklyn calls timeout. Fifteen seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? Too little, too late. Making a change won't save them now. Well, I think he might just want to remind these guys, hey, let's finish the game the right way. Get the win here. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Yeah, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame every one. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.